am back today with a, another back to school series videos. I recently just started just yesterday and I posted this back to school DIY. It's like a teacher gift or you can use it for home decor. So if you want to check out this video, uh, it will be linked at the end of this video as well as in the description box below. So for today's back to school series, I wanted to do something that is edible. I figured that's a really great gift to give any teacher, even if you still wanted to incorporate apples. So if you're like me, a parent like me, you're not a teacher, um, you may feel like, oh, do I do apples? Are they sick of apples? You know, how do they feel about that? And maybe if you're unsure of this gift, this is another idea for you to still incorporate apples, but also being something that will be a fun, delicious treat that what teacher could refuse, right? I absolutely love cooking and doing all kinds of different recipes and if you watch all of my videos on my channel uh, you will have found some recipe tutorials and I have been looking for a recipe for a teacher gift for a while and I came across these little pretzel bites and I thought this is perfection but of course I wanted to give it a twist and do it cheap crafty girl style so I incorporated a lot of things from the Dollar Tree here so in today's tutorial we are going to do this gorgeous teacher appreciation gift. Whether you save this for Teacher Appreciation Day or you give this to your child's teacher, you know, at the first day of school or at the end of school, this is the perfect gift. So before we get into the steps on how I put this together, I will tell you that back to what I was saying about apples, I will say that all teachers have, um, their own theme going on in their room. At least that's what I remembered from when my child was in elementary school. Teachers can like monkeys or pigs or um, they could have a th color theme, that their favorite colors. So, you know, find out what your your child's teacher's favorite things are and you can incorporate that and replace the apple with whatever thing that they love the most. All right, so now let's talk about how I put this together. So let's start talking about the actual treat itself. The treat itself is easy to do, but slightly time consuming. So be sure that you are well rested and you're ready to go and you're eager to make these treats. Um, so the first thing that I did was I took these pretzel bites that are in the square shaped and I got this bag at Walmart. And then I lined them on a plate. From there, I took some Hershey Kisses and I stacked them on one Hershey Kiss per one pretzel bite. And then I popped them in the microwave for a minute. That was the first mistake that I made because I've never actually made this recipe before. So I learned that the best way to handle these uh, pretzel bites with a Hershey Kiss is to actually cut the Hershey Kiss in half. So. I started doing that and half of it went onto one pretzel bite and the other half I saved it for another pretzel bite. And then you wanna pop it in the microwave for 30 seconds, not really a minute, but of course it really varies on your microwave. And just enough to get it nice and melted but not to where it's running and gooey. You know, you still want your chocolate to come out looking as the same way that you put it in but it is warm to the touch. So once you take it out, be very careful because the pretzel is extremely hot when you pop it into the microwave. So be sure that you really don't touch the pretzel while it's cooling down. And then I took a bag of M&Ms and this was the difficult part because I happened to get a bag of M&Ms that didn't have very much red or green. It was a bag filled of blue and yellow. So if you do have a candy store, I know that the candy store in my mall sells M&M candies by color so if you wanted to do this in mass quantity I would go that route so that you can hand pick red and green M&Ms otherwise you can just do what I did and just buy a bag blindly and open it up and hope that you have some red and green M&Ms. So then what I did as you see here is I'm just adding a couple of red M&Ms for the base of what my apple is. Your apple is red and so I picked red M&Ms and I also made sure to turn it around so that you wouldn't see the M logo so that you would just see a red chocolate candy. And then you take a green M&M and then you add it to the top as the cute little apple stem. 
Once you've done that, then you want to let it cool. I actually let them cool overnight just because it is summertime. My house is probably a little bit warmer than it should be. So I wanted them to cool overnight before I put them in the jar. So now let's go ahead and talk about the jar itself. So being Cheap Crafty Girl and being all about Dollar Tree, I knew instantly that I wanted to make a really cute jar. So what I love about this gift is that it's a two in one. They also get the good treat. And then at the end of the day, they also get the really cute jar. So once they're done with their treat, they can just clean out the jar. And that's the great part about this is they can remove the lid and pop the glass jar into their dishwasher and clean it. They can fill it with more treats or they can fill it with back to school supplies or whatever it is that they want. So that is why I love this jar so much. If you watch my videos, then you know this is my favorite Dollar Tree jar of all time. So what I basically did was I took some ribbon that I already had on hand, but if you don't have any ribbon on hand, Dollar Tree does sell ribbon and they do have red ribbon, which would be really cute. Or you can incorporate yellow ribbon or blue ribbon, you know, just primary colors would be really adorable. But I had this cute red gingham that I hauled from Hobby Lobby a while ago. So all I did was wrap it around the lid of the jar and I secured it with some hot glue. Easy peasy, done, no hassle, no issues. And then I decided to take this red apple. It is from the Dollar Tree as well. I don't know what to call the artificial fruit. Is that what they're called? I call them faux fruit, but I guess artificial fruit. And the red apples from the Dollar Tree are gorgeous. They're stunning. I think I've seen green apples there before, but I've only seen red lately, but I'm fine with that because I wanted the red apple. It's very traditional back to school. And then I just took some hot glue and added it to the bottom of the apple. And then I secured it to the center of the lid. So once I was done making the jar, I filled the jar with the pretzel bites and then I added the apple cute bites into this as well. And this is the gift, you guys. It was so incredibly inexpensive to make. It's so cute. And chances are your teacher has probably never received a gift like this before, but I, I don't know, I've never taken a poll before. Okay guys, so that is it for this tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to stay tuned for more of my back to school series and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Ta-da. I just can't, I just can't handle this. It's just.